Hello there and welcome. Today we're gonna play a game, uh, actually start playing a game called Flower, Sun and Rain. Um, probably for most of you it's gonna sound like a strange choice of the game, but um, some time ago I played a game called Silver Case, which was made by Suda51. And uh, I was actually looking forward to playing um, a sequel to that game, 25th Word, a silver case. Uh, but I was looking for some information to refresh my memory about the first game because the game uh, is quite complex, uh, the story. Uh, and um, I have a hard time also remembering all these Japanese names. Uh, so <laughs> I thought, what if... What if they're gonna be recurring uh, characters? I will probably, I mean, I will totally miss the the, <laughs> the point. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find anything, but people suggest that you actually should play this game, Flower, Sun and Rain, in between two Silver Cases games. Um, interesting, so I guess there's gonna be related I actually seen the I have never seen the gameplay of this game but I've seen it mentioned I've seen some screenshots and to me it looked like it's I didn't I don't know I didn't even know it was made by Suda because it looks so colorful it's just so not like him it's bizarre anyway uh, Flower, Sun and Rain is an adventure game. It's developed by Grasshopper Manufacturer and originally it came out on PlayStation 2 in 2001, but only in Japan. So, yeah, for English speaking people, the game was only available um, when they ported the game to the DS. Um, well, I guess it was. Uh, not not a straight point port I don't know really but they probably had to change lots of things anyway um, in English it was uh, available in 2009 on DS uh, oh actually in Europe it was in 2008 so that's that's it I don't want to know anything else about it before we start so I um, let's just jump into it uh, probably we should be prepared for some craziness bizarreness and just uh, randomness <laughs> if I if I know my Suda <laughs> okay um, let, let's just do it They're gonna show us the name of the game.
Okay, that that was interesting. Hello there. Yeah, videos are um, are making our eyes bleeding. I know, but the game looks not that bad. Press press start button. Wait, that was just an opening? Okay. I wonder if that opening uh, consisted of any uh, spoilers. Even though it doesn't matter. I didn't understand the thing, so it's okay. Um, huh? Educa McAllister's. Hello? Save data. Wait, what? <laughs> no save data. If you want, want to start from the beginning, select this. Well, I guess. I have a choice of three. That's a lot. Ooh, <laughs> what is this music? Okay, hello there. This is our main character, I assume. Unless it's a, a Harry Mason going to silence. I'm on vacation here. <laughs> okay. Th this is funny already. I mean, uh, it's just something I did not expect from Suda, kind of, but. Okay. It's just different uh, kind of pace and atmosphere from Silver Gates. But I guess we'll see. On air? What? Oh. This sounds creepy actually. Okay, I'll make this quick. <laughs> creepy! I'm Sumio Mondo. Wasn't the main... One of the main characters of Silver Case named Sumio? Hmm. I think it was Sumio Kondai or something. I'm a searcher for uh, by trade. What? That means I look for things. 
ask me to find something now and I'll find it. What if I uh, can find my socks? Can you find them for me? That's what I do. Oh, thanks. This baby is a Toyota Celica. Celica? I don't know. A car that only true connoisseurs can appreciate. I need the gigs. Why people keep naming uh, things that do not breathe? Those of us who name our cars, well, we are selling. Oh, okay, you, yeah, you are that kind of a gentleman. <laughs> you find me in a hurry because I'm heading for a job. Not just desperate for the for the can, okay? For the can? The Flower Sun and Rain Hotel. It's a bizarre name for the hotel if you ask me. What do I know? I don't have my own hotel. Can you believe that name? <laughs> what the fuck? This game so far reads my name. Um, not name yet. But let's see. It reads my mind. And now they have hired me. I don't know exactly what for yet. I assume to find something. And maybe to find a new name for it. <laughs> I'm meeting with the agent on the ground. That's when I'll get the details. I have no idea what lies ahead. The word lost isn't in my personal dictionary. My work is almost perfect. I can find anything. Still can't find my socks, you know? And so another adventure begins. So, okay. Well, I guess looking for something that's lost is kind of uh, an adventure in itself. Gate one, I, guess, I assume. Hard to tell. that big hands W it's like women and gentlemen I'm triggered right now <laughs> shouldn't be L then ladies excuse me I I want to talk about this but This is a long road, I see. God, he, he, will he even make get to the point? Would be nice. I wish I could drive. In game. I do not wish to drive in real life that much. It would be nice to, to, to have the ability though. Nice welcome. But there's no one. The agent is supposed to be here somewhere. Okay. Oh, I'm, uh, I can control. Okay. Huh? 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 I knew I saw something. What's this? Some paper? Lost and found. Yay, nice music. Ah, Hotel Flower, Sun and Rain. A lost and found report. From Hotel Manager Edo. 1. Any lost item found by our hotel staff will be returned to the front desk for storage. 2. Our staff will leave an owner's ticket when they find any lost items in anticipation that you might come back to find what you have lost. If you realize that you have lost or dropped an item, then please bring the owner's ticket to the front desk. The owner's ticket is placed inside a container imprinted with a hotel's crest. C 
simply bringing the container to the front desk is not enough. A numerical passcode must be entered in order to open the container. The passcode is the code chosen by you upon checking in. If you have forgotten your passcode, you will find a hint of the lost and found list in your room. What? This sounds too complicated. 3. If you enter the correct code and obtain the owner's ticket, please bring it to the front desk. 4. The ticket will be exchanged for your lost item. I mean... That what? I'm not... I either haven't rested enough or I don't really understand how this works. <sighs> 5. As I have complete faith in this system, I cannot believe that anyone other than the real owner of the ticket will be able to obtain what was lost. Therefore, the corresponding item will always be handed over upon presentation of the ticket. Thank you for your understanding. 6. Please have a nice day. What if I won't? <laughs> uh, 7. You will find today's lost and found list on the next page. Please read it at your earliest convenience. I mean, why even have it in the list? Uh, if someone lost something, they know what they lost, right? So they would just come to you and they will tell you, describe exactly what they lost. And you can safely give them it back to them without needing for any tickets. Because only the owner can know for sure how it looks like, right? One, what? Truck spare tie, tire. How many tires does the truck have? I have no idea. Probably a lot. Four, stone statue. The twins have recently been given a magnificent birthday, finally reaching adulthood. Combine the two together and... Uh, combine twins? Ew. Three miniature gigs. Isn't it my car? Did you park in the parking lot? Perhaps our parking lot is a bit too large, considering the number of cars using it. <laughs> what? Auto? Manager Ito? Owners tickets and containers? Seems like a pointlessly complicated system. Exactly. I already said how it should be doing. But okay, they know better, I guess. <laughs> it also appears to have nothing to do with my current assignment. Well, it's lost and found. And you're finding stuff. Hey, the counter has one. What does this mean? I don't have to spend time on this if I don't want to. I guess these are bonuses that I can pick up along the way. I'll leave the list here. This seems to be how they do things here. I'll just note down the per pertinent details. I don't need this, do I? Oh, it's number of s of it's number of steps I made. Like really? Yeah, you know what? This parking lot seems to be quite big. Indeed. Huge. Well, it's a hotel, there's probably lots of people, but it's quite empty. What am I looking for? Where's the damn entrance? Oh my god. The way he's running is funny. Quite nice view. Hey, a truck. It looks like more like a bus. 
has only four tires. No? Are you sure about that? Do they... Hello? I'm not sure what I'm doing. You are late, searcher. Hey, are you Bass from <laughs> Dead or Alive? I mean, his picture looks like Bass, but uh, not the 3D. I guess he let himself go a little bit. I could have taken a nap. You the agent. I'm Peter. Peter Bok. Bokchvikuk. Oh my god. I hope I will never meet you again. <laughs> because I'm, I can't, I can't pronounce that. I'm here from the commission. Nice to meet you. Oh, so you're a broker. I don't like to be called on. I just graze the wheels. Same thing. Not so, not so, pretty boy. Anyway, how does five sound? Five? Five what? My cut? From your rate. Huh? Uh, you sure? That isn't much. I'm not a greedy man. This is more like my hobby than my job. I wish I could say the same. That's settled then. I'll collect, collect once you're finished. You're fine with me. I don't feel like this is our first meeting. I look forward to seeing what you can do. Later on then. Very well. We'll start by making sure you are who you say you are. Jack in to me and then put your date, bur date of birth. Excuse me? Do I have to? What is that shining? Huh? Where do you want me to put it? Come on in then. On into me. Okay, I'll make this quick. Weird guy. Saying stuff like, come on inside me. Well, like I already told you, I'm a searcher. But just how do I search? Aren't you like, uh, this is the thing you do, you should know. By using this, the ultimate computerized and looking device, Catherine. She does all the heavy lifting. Powering Catherine up and then putting the correct code you cannot look anything. She's a very useful tool. With her, I'm able to complete any job without fail. That's my style. The catch is I have to figure things out first, and then put the codes. Catherine can't work alone. But I can't work alone either. And so we work as a team. Partners. Perfect partners. She's my perfect partner. That's Catherine. But why the name Catherine? Ra no, I didn't. Working with a Catherine is always better than working with a ball. Who said so? That's all. Now I'd better input my birthday. I'll need to type it in the day first, followed by the month. The game. What? I don't have a game manual, I'm sorry. It's right there in black and white. Check up on how to handle Catherine too. Meh. Her controls are a snap for a select jet. There is no real art to this, just keep going until one fits. Then use the dial to enter numbers. Press A button to confirm and B to cancel. Mess with the buttons, I'm sure you'll figure it out. It's been a while. Time to get to work, Catherine. The mystery is concealed within this man. An endless journey. The prey protects their soul. Well, the, num uh, the hunter hunts the truth. 
the Requiem solely sunk for the search. Truth is singular. It's time to go to work, Catherine. Catherine, okay, never mind. This reminds me something. The search culminates here. Search of what? <laughs> Memo, Jack, Jack? What is that? Goods. Jack control. Huh? What is that? stuff hi that's my hair <laughs> you kiss <laughs> maybe they want me to write down the, the birthday I don't know, this is just random. No. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of ew. Wait, are you gonna say the same thing you just did? Please don't. We already heard this, I, but I don't know what you want from me. Why do I have to listen to the whole thing again? They actually want me to read the... the they, they want me to read the... Please don't. I don't have a... have a green eye, maybe that's how it worked. Um Final answer. No. I don't know. Or Final answer. No. No, oh, how do I go back? Final answer. It doesn't matter. No, no. Zero. Any, any month. Final answer. Yes. Hit. <laughs> I mean, I could enter any, any, anything. I guess that goes with a month and. Uh, a d day in a month and also a month number. Okay, you're definitely Sumiya Mondo. 
really i hope i don't have to remember the number because that was random for me welcome to lost pass island and i do mean welcome lost pass pretty old name ain't it does it mean anything Hey, okay, just grease the wheels. You've said that already. I don't know much about this place. Alright then. Take me to the hotel, finally. Which brings us to the first problem. What? Alrighty. Hear me out. I forgot the password for the gate. Of course you did. Through them gates is the only way to the hotel. We can just climb. There's nothing in there. It's like a simple enough problem. Problem? I'll find the code that you have. So conveniently forgotten. How he can he can do stuff like that? Leave this to me. Of course I will have to do that. Do I just check on the door? I don't wanna hear any more stuff from the dude <clears throat> that's a face of a wise man closed gate should be a simple problem but that Peter's a sly guy isn't he checking me out like this a test of my searching skills quite literally an entrance exam upside down baby her first birthday Ew. The date of birth, I just input the key. Is the key. Catherine, one more time. Mystery is concealed within this gate. What the fuck? I don't remember the... What if I... What do you want me to do, Jack? No, 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 wait. Goods. Uh, interesting, he's... Huh? I'm, I'm not supposed to know the man. I've seen him in the cutscene, but that's all. Assume you haven't... Um, met him. 2203, so 3022. Interesting. How the code is the code of my birth? Well, the dude asked me, so. Take note of the upside down babies about to celebrate their birthday. Stone statue. Wasn't there something about twin statues? Upside down babies. Anyway, 3022, I guess. How am I supposed to figure out the, the color? No, are you sure about that? But okay. Thankfully, we could look up our own answer of the first thing. Nice work, Mondo. Now we can head to the, for the hotel. I mean, how come the code is the upside down uh, code of my birthday? You know the, the code somehow, or you put it somehow remotely after I told you. 
my birthday date. This island is the green zone. No cars from the outside can be used. It's a pain, but we'll have to take my truck. What about gigs? I can't hear you. Speak up. What about my beloved car? Uh, you're too far away. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> Shut up. Just get in the truck, Mondo. You know, I can still ask you when I come close to you. We've got a long road ahead of us. Two hours each way. Wow. What the... Seriously? It's kind of creepy, to be honest. Two hours... And so, th this is like a desolate area. No one is around in this whole way. What if something, um, like some emergency happens? <laughs> Good luck surviving. Pretty sleek moves back there, Mondo. Yeah, I know, I'm smart. Just what was the gate code then? Remind me. You know. You knew it all, all along, Peter. You read me like a book. Impressive. Please. You just might be the real thing, Sumio Mondo. Might. Hey, don't feel insulted. Edo asked me to test you. All part of my job, I'm sure you can understand that. Edo? Uh, don't you mean that? Ah, uh, no, actually. Edo McAllister. The manager of the hotel. Is it he your client, Mondo? I don't know my client's name, actually. So who asked you to come here? I don't really remember. I see. I expected as much. Well, so long as you can find the item. Who doesn't really matter? The item? It'll we'll tell you about it. Pretty scary stuff. Scary? I like it. So far, it's too sunny and flowery. Island is a nice place, Mondo. Beautiful. Take it easy, but don't forget our promise. Promise? Oh, dude, you gotta be kidding. Just joking. Five, right? That's right, don't forget. See you soon. Yeah, I'm hoping you get the job done. What do you mean by five? Like, what? 5%? I'm gonna give him 5% from what I'm earning or what? Well, why? Hey! Once you're finished, I'd like to hear your thoughts about Eden. My thoughts? Yeah, about this island. No problem. Get to it then, Mondo. Adios! Bye bye! Damn, this dude just gonna waste another two hours of his life. Oh. I'm not envious. He built that. Nice place. Oh no, that was an accident. <gasps> we can save! Yes! Let's do that. Yes! Go all of the road. Interesting place. Feels like the game actually wanted me to go to the right. But I won't! That's the main entrance. 
probably. I think so. What is going on? Yeah, I know the name of the game. Welcome to the flower, sun, and rain. We have been expecting you, Mr. Mondo. Oh, hi. That's all? The manager is waiting for you inside. Okay. I'll go then. Nice place. I wish I could turn the camera around. Oh, the music is gold. <laughs> eh. That's a small uh, door. Barely my height. Hello, you're the manager. Oh, you look much better on the picture, actually. He looks... <laughs> yeah, it's like his... Uh, his, I don't know, Facebook profile picture, rather, <laughs> and reality. <laughs> okay. Ah, you must be Mr. Mondo. We have been expecting you. I am Edo McAllister, the manager of this hotel. You're my client. That is correct. You must be worn out from the long journey. I shall show you to your room right away. Actually, I'd like to hear why I'm here first. Oh, you would. Well, how about I tell you as we walk? Sounds good. Oh, Mr. Mondo, please take one of those guidebooks. I'm sure you'll find it very useful. The Lost Pass? Yes, we are very proud of this book. Thanks, looks like required reading. I'll put it inside Catherine. Catherine? Yeah, this sounds bizarre. Don't ask. Yeah, my partner. You... What? You shouldn't have specified. I see. Now then, please follow me. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? I really don't envy Catherine. Girl, these walks, though, Mr. Mondo. Do you know where the name was passed? Okay, it comes from. I'm not sure I care. No, I see. It's a combination of two words lost and, <gasps> and past. Kill the past. No, wait, wasn't it kill the future? Uh, I really need to refresh the memory of Silver uh, Case. To lose the past. It, well, you can pretty much lose the past. Like, you can forget stuff. That is correct. An island that has lost its past. There is a reason for, reason for this. I take it. The race. Crazy magnetic field. What does that mean? Time is lost. I don't understand. A certain instance of time is continuing eternally. That's insane. I'm sure you'll understand soon enough, Mr. Mondo. Yeah, that's. Uh, I. Okay. You're, you're uh, intriguing me here. Thank you, Mr. Mondo. Look, Edo, Edo, don't give me this crap, just tell me, why have you asked me here? Well, Mr. Mondo... The 
terrorist? That is correct. A terrorist has set his sights on this island. What? Oh, how terrible this all is. This job is crazy, too. I knew that when I hired you. The facts are, an airplane has been fitted with a bomb. Is, I mean, did the music just get louder? <laughs> and we need you, Mr. Mondo, to find it. Thank you so much for doing this. You shall be our savior. Savior? You're serious. Totally serious. Well, I do like the sound of that. Savior. Then please. Okay, leave this to me. I feel so much better to hear you say that, Mr. Mondo. Now then, my room. Very well. Please step inside. 402. At least it's not 302. Okay. Welcome to Otto Flower Sun and Rain. Jam. Wait, we have another opening. Okay. I shouldn't have watched the previous one, huh? like younger Sumio from all their faces actually uh, the same style for Silver Kids okay I get introduced for the characters nice I didn't pay attention really Sandons? What? Sounds familiar.
That was long and unnecessary. <laughs> but okay. I like the part where they introduced the characters though. Thank you so much for coming such a long way. I'm sure you're very tired today. Please relax and let the exhaustion of your journey wash away. Allow me to give you one word of warning. Do not forget to save before going into the next chapter. End the game without saving and all your progress will be lost. I shall be waiting with a smile at the front desk. Does this mean I won't be able to save the game in a while now? Damn it! Select either to continue play or end game. I can't end game without saving, you just said that. But you didn't let me save. Excuse moi. They said like, uh, make sure you save before you go to the next day, but, okay, never mind. Good morning, Mr. Mondo. What? It's morning already? Your breakfast is ready. <gasps> I hope it's pancakes. Please come down to the first floor. And X. Do people eat both pancakes and uh, eggs uh, in the morning? Because I totally would. <laughs> Thanks for the wake up call. Please hurry, the fate of our island lies in your hands. You must get to the airport as quickly as you can. I know, but I'm not exactly a morning person. Well, I mean. Lots of people aren't, but that's the word we're leaving. Hey, what just happened? <laughs> Not a morning person, I guess. Having a coffee. This is a nice hotel. So what happened? You just, what, fell asleep and now you're ready, huh? The manager knows how to treat his guests, too. But do we really have to discuss work so early in the morning? He doesn't know how to relax. I mean, you are hired. It's a job. I mean, I also wish I didn't have to get up early every day, but I have to eat something, so yeah. That laugh of his is suspicious, too. His eyes never match his expression. You... Oh, that's interesting. Hey, that's actually interesting. Damn it. Uh, I think that's why characters in these games, uh, Silver Case too, uh, look bizarre to me. I think that's the secret. You, they kind of look like the eyes do not fit the expression they make. There's something about the faces. He's got a hidden side, that's for sure. Mm. This is good coffee. Doesn't he remind you of someone? Uh, he has Catherine. <laughs> he likes coffee. He talks to himself. Uh, I'd better head to the lobby. <sighs> it's suitcase already. Was I sleeping in the costume? Anyway. <laughs> What is this? Guidebook. Maybe I was... Oh my goodness, no, not... No. I mean, all these numbers were different memos. Oh my... No. Well, maybe I will check them out sometime. Some other time. I guess that's just a balcony. What a nice place, damn it. I, f 
feel like I'm playing Deadly Premonition uh, on the ass. <laughs> I'm getting that Diaz feeling. Diaz. Excuse me. What a coincidence. But he probably means something else. A mystery is concealed here. Huh? An endless journey. The prey protects their soul. While the hunter hunts the truth. Ah, uh, it's the same shit he's saying, okay. Ah, this is have to be so long, come on. I will learn to recognize it sometime soon. Jack control. I I'll, I'll just go for anything. One will work anyway, so... Dial. Uh. Blink. Zero, 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 three? What is this? I, I don't even know what this is. Oh, I could tell them. I see a number three here, so... I don't know. Please? Oh. <laughs> no. Okay, maybe, I don't know. I have no idea. What do you want from me? <laughs> oh, nice bathroom. And a toilet. Don't you wanna use them? Are you telling me I'll have to f uh, do that uh, puzzle? Huh? What's going on here? It's locked. What's the meaning of this? Right. It's complaint time. Complaint for the manager. I guess I'll have to call him on the phone. Huh? What now? Uh, it looks different? Where's my bed? Something's not right here. I heard a strange voice. I got to get out of here. What? What is this? Is this a camera? What do you mean get out of here? Leave the place? I'm closed in. Oh boy. Is this a camera? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Small things in practice. What, what about the picture? Maybe you shouldn't. Uh. Uh. What the fuck? Are they watching me? <laughs> Mr. Mond, that room is cursed. I can see the evil spirit. What? And how do you guys know my name? Who are you? Welcome, Mr. Mond, to Hotel Flowers, Sun and Rain. I am a maid here. My name is Sue. Why you guys put me in the fucking haunted room? 
Is this my real purpose to be here? The evil is swirling. Who's that with you? My sister Phantom. She's a spiritual correspondent. I'm here to save you, Mondo. Sorry, do I know it? You have to move fast or the evil spirit will possess you. I can't. The game doesn't let me run. I feel it. A terrible desire to do wrong. Oh my. I'm Mondo's consciousness is fading. Now wait just a minute, lady. Tell me what's going on here. That room is sealed space. Sealed space? The manager must have put you in there by mistake. Um, he literally led me inside that room, so it's not a mistake. Mondo, you're very lucky. Oh, you think so? That sister uh, here was staying at the hotel today. Leave this to me. Leave this to her and I you'll be fine. Sure, just do something about this. I'm in a hurry over here. Sister, please help him. Very well. No, sister. What's happening? Quiet! Sister is concentrating. Okay. She's focusing. It's going well. Are they praying tricks in the me or what? Is this a joke? It's working. The demon is among us! Silence. You gotta be kidding me. What? Nah, no, I'm scared. This chair looks like it's here for a reason. Is it related to the puzzle of this room? I don't know. Maybe they want you to sit on it. Because there is a... What is there behind that thing? It's an old camera. Camera obscura. <laughs> it's pointed at the chair. So, you want to snap that seat, do you? Probably. So, sit there? This chair looks like... I mean... Come on! Sit there! Maybe... can I take a picture? She's alone. Mr. Mondo, I have some bad news. Sister has fled. Huh? She took off? Yes, she left a moment ago. She said she doesn't want anything to do with this. So she chickened out. That's right. I mean, if you hear something like this while being locked in the room that you were told is possessed, damn, I would shit my pants right there. <laughs> Heaven told me to leave this to her. Don't worry, Mr. Mondo. I shall take on the burden she has cast aside. You? I have my own powers. Right. I will save you, Mr. Mondo, in the place of sister. Thanks for giving it a try, I guess. But won't it be hard on you? It will be tougher on you, Mr. Mondo. Quite the professional. Cut out <laughs> in the middle of a job. So what shall we do? There's a chair and a camera placed in this room. Do you think they mean anything? 
a chair and a camera. They're placed in what seems to be a puzzle of some sort. It sounds like something I've seen before. Where was it? Hmm. Have you got it? I think... Yes? I'm tired. <laughs> That's just great. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for helping. Guess it's a Bellini. What? A rare German camera. I wonder if it still works. Probably does. Just try it. No one's there. Awesome. Hey, ah, uh, she's there. She's just down. So are you there? Don't tell me she's run off too. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> My apologies, Mr. Mondo. What happened? I just dozed off for a minute. Were you sleeping? In that habit of mine. Anyway, I remember. I can hardly contain myself. I need to go to the toilet. The manager told me about this. Yeah, that a uh, harmless ghost lives in the hotel. Okay, harmless. So, it's okay? Thinking about it now, strange things do happen often. Like what? From what I remember, toilet water overflowing. That can happen not because of a ghost. Someone drawing on a flower vase. And my skirt getting flipped up. What the fuck? <laughs> Interesting ghost you have there. Oh, and a hole appeared in the manager's bed. <laughs> what? Okay. And in his underwear. Someone likes to pick. To pick. I guess. I assume. I'm not sure if that's related. Ew! What happened? I just remembered something. What, a clue? No, that underwear. Thanks for that mental image. So this ghost is just a prankster. I remembered something else. Boxers or, or briefs? Boxers. <laughs> no, the camera and chair. It reminds me of a picture I saw. Where? In the guidebook. Mr. Mondo, please check your guidebook. The guidebook? It's a free booklet available at the front desk. The manager gave me one. I'm sure it will help you. Right, the guidebook. Oh no. I put it inside Catherine. Catherine? Is someone in there with you? She's my partner. And she has the guidebook. Put it inside her. <laughs> uh, ew! <laughs> what? I always do. I always put things inside her when, if I know I need, I will need them. And so, you know, she's always with me. She's my partner. So, yeah, I can just take out things out of her. <laughs> You pervert! Don't get excited now. I don't think she's excited. The point is, I can't read the guidebook without booting up Catherine. And she won't open unless there is a job to do. I see, I think. Uh, are you okay? Catherine is re reacting. What the hell? You should fix your computer. Now I can open her and read the guidebook. I guess that's good news. Please read it right away. You'll be pleased to hear that in this version of our game, it's now possible to view the guidebook whenever you like. Isn't that nice? You mean I couldn't do that in, in the original? So, who are you talking to? To me, I guess. Fourth wall is... yeah. It's 
broken. Our very important customer. A ghost. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Anyway, I'll take a look. Mr. Mondo, if you need any more help, please peer into here again. You need... Yeah, you never know. You may catch a glimpse of something very special. Really? No, not really. Damn it. I was thinking of her skirt. Oh boy, this better work. Oh, I want to pick. Wait, the stop starts from four. Four. Uh, and there is no nineteen. This is insane, if you ask me. They really want me to check the whole thing? Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Because I'm definitely not doing it now. Oh, what? I guess I was supposed to read something about the camera and now I did? Okay. I need to locate the hints in the guidebook and solve this puzzle. The mystery is concealed in the camera. <laughs> Just look for, for the word camera, I assume. I'll, I'll have to read about Catherine because uh, I always just go for a random stuff here. Dial control. What the hell? Wait, it must be a number, not a word. Huh? Cospas Island is the finest resort on earth where you can forget about time. Uh, luck of the lost. A lucky number is 7 when starting out new and teamwork, blah blah blah. Meh. <laughs> They literally want me to check the whole thing. Is is this no? Please tell me no. I don't want to. Okay, it's just not gonna happen right away. So we'll start uh, afresh next time when I'm probably rested better. Uh, I think I've seen enough. <laughs> Let's save save the game and call today for now. I I don't know. I'll probably what? I'll probably just go through the safe complete. 
through the guidebook in a separate video <laughs> for those who are interested uh, and um, yeah we'll try to solve the puzzle in the next part so thank you very much for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next part bye